Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Herr Mokolother, and we shall continue our Austria, Austria Hungary campaign. Yep, yeah. it says Austria Hungary, but really, we could get rid of the Hungary part. I think we'd be good enough. But ah, oh, there he is, Franz Joseph the first, absolute. He's not a waifu. Is Bondo? I don't know. But at least we still have him. So we're going to try to do military expertise with Germany. It is 1911. Soon to be 1912. And man, coming from Kaiserreich to playing this. Oh my lord. Look at the speed. The sheer speed we're blazing at. Oh my gosh. It's like we're playing. We're driving NASCAR cars. Oh god, that's terrible. But whatever. Alright, let's see. What do we want? What do we want in life, guys? Do we want promises of peace? <laughs> peace. We will go to war if needed. Uh, modify the government, ship designer. What are we trying to research? That'd be a good question to ask. Uh, some air squadron stuff, some camera stuff. Communications. It doesn't look like we're really researching that type of n naval text yet. Now, is there anything for political advisor? Effects of partisans. Fascist support, of course. Uh, stability is always good to get. What about military? Defense or entrenchment speed? Uh, definitely defense, not entrenchment speed, because I would prefer more entrenchment, but since it's just entrenchment speed, that doesn't seem like it would really do much for us. Uh, these guys really suck. <laughs> um, tank designer armor. Can't really research any armor, either. Fascist demagogue. Core, Non-core manpower. Form subversive activities. Well, let's get whatever we can get. So, let's go with defense. Comrade von Hützendorf, something tells me that this plays out historically... As it did in real life. Conrad von Zutzendorf is not really much of a defensive type of guy. By Italian invasion of Libya, here we go. An ultimatum was presented to the Ottoman government. Through Austrian intermediation, the Ottomans replied with a proposal of transferring control of Libya without war, maintaining a formal Ottoman suzerainty. The Italian refused, Italians refused, and war is now declared. Alright, so I was kind of talking about that in the last uh, video. That, I guess. Vittorio Emmanuel III really does not like the Turks. Uh, I can't send volunteers. It's only 4% uh, well, tension. So we want to go with our focuses to get let's see be, to be, at least be able to send volunteers. But we really need to do like the first Balkan War. Hmm. We need a London Peace Conference as well. Send military advisors. Can't do that. Uh... Romanian reapproachment. They're thorn in our sides, of course. Mine go good. Give Bukovina to Romania. It's not a very very significant amount of territory. Yeah, but we might do that. Let's see. So it is 1911. Let's see. A trench, better trenches. Resource efficiency game, which we're already okay on. Uh, we did that. What is this? Research time would be nice. But air superiority. Uh, airplane stuff. Do some naval doctrines, since we're kind of lacking on that. Bukovina. If we gave Bukovina to Romania, it has a total of less than half a million people, and we would lose one military factory. I'm actually okay with that. If that would make Romania like us a little bit more... Oh, man, they don't really like us. <clears throat> well, they really don't like us. And we don't really like them. We like them less than they like us. Which always makes for great relations. Let's see. Marines. Yeah, I'm not really going to naval invade anywhere yet. I'm not really going to use signal companies with all these other ones here. Armor, it's not even 1912 yet. Uh, build artillery upgrade, what is this? Oh, artillery max speed. A heavy artillery. Uh, let's go with normal artillery. Because eventually, heavy advanced artillery turns into regular artillery. But we're not going to play that long, probably. <clears throat> so what are we lacking, guys? We're lacking guns, artilleries, artillery guns, regular guns, and support equipment. And what are we trying to do to rectify this? Build more support equipment stuff. Uh, build one there and build... Eh, more okay on guns. Actually, you'll, you'll be fine with the strong carriages. And the South Pole has been reached! On December 14th, 1911, Roald Amundsen and four others arrived at the Pole, South Pole to be specific, ahead of the British party led by Robert Falcon Scott as part of the Naratoba expedition. Amundsen and his team returned safely to their base and later learned that Scott and his four companions had died on their journey return journey. Well, that sucks. Yep, at least they made it. Alright, so what can we do now? 
So we did this. Military expertise from Germany. We can do organize the realm. Give it a little more stability and political power. We can fortify some forts. Recruitment. And fortify the Russian border, which would be kind of nice. Uh, military youth. Is there any reason for me to go down this way? Power, harsh rationing. We could get rid of uh, multinational state, which would actually help us a little bit. Bonuses. Mm, unified realm. Oppressed minorities. Massive efforts. Oh, eh. That stuff's okay. Mm. Iron doctrine bonus. Uh, naval stuff. Naval dockyards. Let's see. construction. Civilian. Eh, I'll do. Let's do one civilian factory. Since I like to make a lot of those. I'm not even making any military factories. What the heck? Uh, yeah, Sylvania. Sylvania sounds good. Oh, we are still making some naval dockyards, which would be good, and we can start making some trenches. Not, not, not a lot of trenches, but some trenches close to the Italian border. Uh, Serbia, we might need trenches down here next to them, maybe. Hopefully, we'll be able to pile drive into Serbia so they don't really resist us too much. Definitely need some trenches and potentially some forts around Russia. And you know what? I'm probably going to put all these down, but never even use them, probably. But you never know. You never really know. Oh, right. Very good. So we have a little bit more uh, army XP. Infantry brigade. Well, that looks like the weakest infantry brigade I've ever seen. Uh, we are pretty close as well. Infantry division. Troops troop, uh, we're not really using that. And they signed a white peace. Italy has now Libya, which we saw in World War II. And they won the Italo-Turkish Italo War. Well, good for you guys, I guess. I don't really care. Um, we have though, the, what are our horses? 20 width, let's see, logistics might help. Eh, yeah, let's give them a little bit of logistics. And let's start screwing up their divisions. I want these to be thick horses. Like, mega thick. Like the biggest horses you don't ever seen. Alright, so now we have to kind of wait for the next Balkan War. So Bulgaria, do you have a focus tree? No. Romania doesn't. Oh, the Serbians do. Which is actually kind of interesting. The Serbs, I guess... Oh, they have a focus tree like mine, I guess? Because they have all this, which I have as well. All this side. Uh, they have their own different type of thing on their left. So, anti-Austro-Hungarian policy. Yeah, we don't like you. Appeasement, contest, Albania sovereignty, Montenegro is weak. Move claims on Ottomans. And Port Portofiro Diaz fled to Spain. Alright. Balkan League. And then they'll have to liberate the Balkans. Allied Greece. Punish Bulgaria. That'd be interesting. So that is after March 1st, 1913. So we still have some time before any sort of major war really occurs in the Balkans that we would want to take an interest in. Alright, let's do some naval stuff. Oh, uh, you guys suck. Capital ship, less armor, firing speed, and max range. Are you kidding me? Trustino. Trustino, yeah. That's Italian, so they suck. Gans is, I think, German. And then naval company. That is the best one. I want to choose the one that says naval company on it. Oh! Grand Duke William IV dies of Luxembourg. First Catholic monarch died after five years of regency. Wow. And then we have the Balkan League. Several Balkan countries together, including rival states Serbia and Bulgaria, have come, have come together to form the Balkan League. A military alliance said, stated to have been built up against Austria-Hungary, though. Hmm. Though the alliance target is, is oh, though the target alliance is the Habsburgs, it seems more likely that the state that divides these four nations would be their best target. Alright, interesting. So, I guess it was more directed towards me, Austria-Hungary, instead of uh, the Turks. Which would be kind of interesting. So, Turkey, what are you going to be doing? Anti-Serbian policy, anti-Bulgarian policy, and the Balkan League menace, which they'll probably do soon, since it's after June, January the 1st. Contest Young Turks reforms. Abolish the Constitution. Military youth. Support Young Turk reforms. Oppress minorities, I love doing that, right? Pan Islamicism. Worldwide Caliphate. Oh, they become a caliphate after that. Hmm, interesting. Relief Lebanon. Oh, oh, I'm sorry guys, I didn't I realize I didn't mean to yawn. I'm I almost never yawn in these videos. Hmm, I guess I'm tired. Nope. Oh, the artillery wheels is very good. Nineteen twelve guys, hope you're having a great year. <clears throat> nineteen twelve. So those are ready in nineteen fourteen. This will be ready in 1914. 1912, that's 1914. Keep saying 1914 over and over again. Uh, no, that's 1914 as well. I like they have different types of subs. That's interesting. Very interesting. Doing that. Air. 
there's really not much you can really do in terms of research, so... We'll just do whatever we can. We have extra dockyards? Wait! Wait, what? Uh, were you not making dreadnoughts? How many... I have 14 dreadnoughts, that's pretty good. I, I suppose we can make a couple destroyers to begin with, but... Uh, I'm not really sure. I must have pressed something to get rid of my production of that. I don't understand that, so... Who am I going to blame here? Can I blame somebody, please? Oh, well. Whatever. Things happen. Hussars. Yes. Oh, the sinking of the Titanic. Uh-oh. Well, that is never good to read about. So, the H RMS Titanic, thought to be unsinkable, has met its end in one of the largest maritime disasters in history, with over 1,500 dead. Already, debates are cropping up from the local coffee shops all the way up to the parliaments through Europe and North America as to why the ship was not properly equipped with enough life rafts, why the comm system was disabled, and why exactly the ship crashed into an iceberg to begin with. Man, that's one hell of a recipe for disaster. Oh, wait, where'd it go? I guess we went by too many days. So. I didn't realize the comm system was actually disabled. And why was there not enough life rafts? I don't know. But since we're going so fast, we have new events, and uh, maybe life rafts would just cost too much. I don't know. Or actually, maybe it was all a trick. Maybe there's a conspiracy back in the day that the Titanic actually had quite a few patrons that were of um, against the likes of certain people, and they sunk the Titanic that way. I don't know. Anyways, we have the Olympic Games. They're in Stockholm this year. Did you know in 1912 they were in Stockholm? New events include for this year will include fine arts competitions, the Diac, the Cathalon, and even some of the first physical events for women. How uh, will we attend, or will we attend the ceremonies? I mean, I guess we will show you different types of people from one country, including Austrians, the best people in the world. Czechs, Slovaks, Hungarians, Romanians, uh, Poles, the Ukrainians, Serbs, some are probably around here. We probably have some Serb population. Bosnians or Bosniaks, Croats, Slovenians, some Italians, you know, we just got all sorts of different people. We get so many different types of foods in my country, it's so good. And I swear that won't bite me in the butt later. Alright, so we have construction effort. Oh, actually, hmm. infrastructure. Infrastructure. Anti Russian policy? Let's do that. Why not? Got so much political power. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Why not? Uh, what is Germany up to? They are doing bureau bureaucratic things. They're allied with me and not the Ottomans. Militarism. Uh, well, let's talk about this. France is doing consolidate the Entente. What does that mean? Oh, Russia wants to join us. Support the UK, support the Russian Empire. Ooh. Send French diplomats for the Triple Entente. And the UK will join the Entente, as well as Australia and all of the UK's colonies, oh god. And then... Army to the Orient, support in Greece and Allied bases. Oh, here we go! Serbia declared war on the Ottomans! No, you would never think that such a small country like Serbia could go to war with the Ottomans, but with the Balkan League that seems pretty probable. Taking advantage of the weakness of the Ottoman Empire following the Italo-Turkish War, the members of the Balkan League declared war against the Ottoman Empire. Will the Ottoman Empire survive this attack? Oh, and the Greeks are also in the Balkan War. The Balkan League. Yeah. Balkan League, that's a nice, that's kind of a nice color. Can I send you volunteers? 13% world tension. No, we need 15. We need 15% to help out, please. Oh, is Mont Montenegro? Why am I talking like this? Montenegro's at, in the walls, Will. You think... Person like Montenegro could actually help out. Wow. Alright, still 13%. Uh, alright. Changing by point, negative point five a month. Uh. Oh, war propaganda. We can get more war support. Tomorrow, Serbia could be our enemy. We need you to defend your country today. Actually, I'm going to take that because we have so much political power. And I could use more war support. Especially when we're not at war. I kinda, I, that would be kind of nice. And we only have 10... Oh, 100. We have 10 XP, but we only have 100 command power. Ooh, better engines. Good. Good, good sub-attacks. Mm, air Doctrine, Naval Doctrine, they're, spo they're both going, so... Uh, resource efficiency gain, sure, screw it, why not? Romanian reapproachments. Romania's not in the Balkan League at the moment, no. They, they have a... Not an aggression back with the Mexican opposition? Um, I don't know, but I don't think you're really in a position, Romania, to go to war with Mexico? And even though Mexico won the Civil War, they're still called the Mexican Opposition. Um, 
At that point, I'd probably just call it Mexico. But that's just me. Who am I? I am just a simple, simple fella playing a game here. God, we need more factories. Uh, how, actually, we have eight naval dockyards. We need more. Hmm, let's make some more. Why not? Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's actually build up this 3S so we can actually make things at least a little faster when we actually build things up there. Hussars. Also, are the Chinese at war with each other still again? Get 30 width. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. So the Chinese, uh, see, Qing China is almost dead, and Me Emperor Meiji is dead, suffered from diabetes, nephritis, I don't know what that is, and gastroenteritis, died of urema. Wow, that sounds terrible. Announcement, he died at 42 minutes on July 30th, 1912. The actual death was at 2240 on July 29th. The Japanese died passed a resolution to commemorate the, his role in the Meiji Restoration. Oh, and the Republic of China won. Cool. An Irish garden in the area of Tokyo where Meiji and the Empress had been known to visit was chosen as a building's location for the Shinto Shrine at Meiji Jinju. It does not contain the Emperor's grave, though, which is located at the Fushimi Moyoyama south of Kyoto. Interesting. Learning so much now. Oh, actually, this is going to be really good for us. Uh, war medicine? Yeah, better recovery rate and re equip. Infantry recovery rate. So, the end of the Xinhai Revolution. Civil war in China has ended. The Qing Dynasty has fallen, and a new republic has been proclaimed in its place. Though the new government was initially viewed as, with skepticism, the great powers have been guaranteed continuing trade in China, with the leases on various ports of the cities on the coastline have been renewed, which is good for, I guess, us. Uh, the transition to the new republic, therefore, is expected to be smooth. It'd be very interesting to see if the same thing happens within the next 50 years with China. And you know, you never know. People might rise up against the Chinese government. I'm talking about the Chinese actually rising up against their own government. You never know. But I might be completely wrong, and I might be executed by the secret service of the Chinese government. Well, we'll find out. If I don't ever make videos again, or I don't tell you I'm not making any more videos, you just assume that the Chinese government has taken me hostage. Or killed me. Hopefully not. But whatever. Alright. Hussars. What do you guys need? You need field guns and support equipment, and you need field guns and support equipment. I need more field guns and support equipment. Oh, and the Treaty of London. Here we go. This is good. The Balkan League took advantage of the weakness of the Ottomans and forced them to concede some territories. It is a victory for the Balkan League and maybe the end of the Ottoman Empire, which is actually extremely interesting to see that even though they white pieced out, the Ottomans have lost almost all European holdings, which is really also pretty impressive. Uh, let's go improve our work conditions for more stability. Now, Serbia will be tougher to fight. Albania has actually been liberated. And Greece is kind of like, yo, Bulgaria, why you want my territory? Oh, and it's good. We have 15% uh, full tension now. Infrastructure effort. Yeah, you have a generic focus screen in this one. Serbia, develop a country. How much manpower? Yeah, some. House of Zogu. It's not Zog, but Zogu. Authoritarian, Nikola, Nikola, the first. Interesting, very interesting. So the Turks, yeah, the Turks were just, or I guess the Ottomans, really, really crappy in World War One. They were not very good. But what can you say from an old dying empire that really doesn't want to care about itself? Ooh, first Balkan War reaction. Maybe we need to find you a friend nearby if we were to ever keep what we have here. Yes, definitely need to discuss this. Bulgaria, Bulgaria. I know you want Thessalonica. No, here's a question. Why do they want Thessalonica? Like, isn't this like mostly Greek? I mean, I, I really don't know why they would want Thessalonica and why they took Thrace. I mean, this should all be Greek. I guess the Bulgarians were all very aggressive, we'll say. Serbs? Oh no, Montenegro's? Oh! Oh god, I'm so sorry, guys. Oof. Oh, alliance with Greece. Oof, Serbia. So, they want to do alliance with Greece and punish Bulgaria, so that has to be 1913. Oh, it's 1912. It's almost 1913. And there have to be a war with Bulgaria for to punish Bulgaria. Alright. Promises of peace. Uh. First Balkan War reaction. Air superiority sounds good to do. Now, we are going to do. Investigate Serbian expansionism or send military advisors. Let's do this. So the, the Bulgarians are in a tough spot right now. Their war against Serbia 
their, wait, their war against Serbia spilled over into a conflict with literally every single one of their neighbors. Um, I, I guess, I guess they're gonna go to war very soon, guys. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, they're, they're gonna go to war soon. That's all right. Uh, Chief of the Navy, capital ship attack. Yeah. Make our ships as strong as humanly possible. Oh, did we actually finish everything up here? Yeah, we did. Hmm. Hmm. 50, 60, 60, 40, 60. Yeah, keep making those military factories. We're gonna need them. And there we go. Bulgaria has declared war on Serbia. Bulgaria was not happy with the results of the First Balkan War. Or this Balkan War. Despite being promised large amounts of territory, Serbia and Greece turned out to be completely unwilling to give up Bulgarian claims in Macedonia. In response, Bulgaria began an invasion of Serbia with a surprise attack, and then themselves were surprised to find a Greco Serbian alliance had been brewed for this exact situation. Bulgaria is in a tough position. Could this ruin the stability of the region forever? So, with that in mind, I want to get a little more army XP. So, I'm going to be able to send them three volunteers of horses. Of really crappy horses. Uh, I think this is uh, if we can send air volunteers, that'd be great, but I don't think we have any planes. Oh, we have planes! We have three! Three each! Three big bombers and three little things. Alright, so, with the war over... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, they're just coming in right on in. I don't know if this is going to really help that much. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Hussars! Yeah, you're going to need some more strength. 34... But, yeah. Romanian intervention. The Bruja has been split between Romanian and Bulgarian rule since the Congress of Berlin in the late 1870s. The entire territory continues, or contains a near mix, or a near equal part of Romanian and Bulgarian population with a mix of Turks as well. But Bulgaria swamped in its own war, who would stop Romania from taking the rest of the region? Good point. I'll do that. At least get me some, my guys some XP. Yeah, poor Bulgaria. So they attacked first, technically. But the Serbs are just extremely expansionistic, so I'm 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 kind of like not liking the Serbs at this point. My my goal is just to take as much take as many enemies out as possible. Improved oil drilling. Good. We're done with here. Engineering. Ah, uh, let's do that. So once these guys are done, okay. So you're done. We gotta help make sure that these guys actually die. So. Uh, the front line is so bad, but if we can get rid of these guys, it'll spare up a few more soldiers. And I don't expect Bulgaria to win it, also. So you... Oh, Bofras. Arthur von Bofras. Uh, screw it. Go with the defensive doctrine. Go ahead and help out. This will definitely give us some XP. Good. What is the air war like? Do they have any planes? No? Where are my planes? Oh, you're over here. Plus air support. Um, you even have an air. You don't even have an air base. All right then. Well, I guess I'm not using any planes. Wasn't planning on using them anyways. Cool. You guys won. Awesome job, guys. Uh, let's see. Oh, they made a small little encirclement. Hmm. I guess they're fighting. They're fighting somebody here. I'm not really sure who they're fighting, but they might need help here. Hussars, yes. Eight. One more and we'll make them nice, thick horses. Send military advisors and then investigate Serbian expansionism. So, though the Serbians were once allied to our state, we've since annexed Bosnia. Things have gone much less friendly between us. Due to a sharp uptick in crime, especially from the recent immigrants of Serbia right on the inside of our borders, an investigation on Serbian activities in Austria must be carried out. Amen. Yeah, you guys want to attack? We want to get attacked by one division, one Mountaineer division. Uh, actually, near my keyboard, I'm clicking pretty fast. We want to get rid of this division here if we can. Or maybe not. We could have made an encirclement, but I guess not. Oh, Bulgaria's... Oh, Bulgaria's white beast. Wow, that was fast. I thought I could do better than that, but... Whatever. Treaty of Bucharest. The treaty was concluded in the aftermath of the Second Balkan War, and amended the previous Treaty of London, which ended the First Balkan War as well. A month later, the Bulgarians signed a separate border treaty, Treaty of Constantinople, with the Ottomans, who had regained some of the territory west of the Enos Media Line during the Second War. Wow. So, basically, Bulgaria got shafted. That's just what it looks like. He got really, really shafted. But that, but that is war. What do you expect? Keep making some stuff good. Keep making those uh, trench lines. And our soldiers have returned home. 
I don't think there's going to be another war here soon. Serbia, you are really, really kind of garbage for doing that. Prepare for war. Wait, prepare for war? Um, join the Entente, yeah. Oh, I'm going to need some more soldiers here. I'm going to make my divisions even thicker, because they're not strong enough. I need more. Investigate Serbian expansionism. So, yeah, the problem with this is that the focus trees are just too short. I mean, they're too long, I mean. They're just... It took forever trying to get military advisors and investigate Serbian expansionism to be able to send troops to Bulgaria. So, I mean, this just took way too long to do. Required for this. So there's no point to even do that now. Uh, let's see. Anti-Russian policy. Limited trade with Russia. Hmm... Let's do infrastructure too, because I like I like having a lot of a lot of infrastructure. Good, 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 good. Always make sure that we're building more inf uh, military factories, though. So I wanted my horses to be a little better than that, but you know, I guess that's the way it goes. Military coup in the Mexican city, led by Gen Mexican General Victoriano Huerta. All right, later assassinated with his Vice President Jose Maria Pino Suarez. Ah, uh, don't you love Mexico? It's always peaceful down there. Even today. So peaceful. Cavalry attack and defense. Uh, I'm going to use this just because I'm actually using cavalry. So. Trench evacuate. Excavation. Good. It's 1913. Happy 1913, everyone. Let's see. Anything else? Nope. This is 1914 stuff. Still doing stuff there. 1913. Oh, we can do land auction. Forgot about this. So we get a rifleman primacy for 10% more soft attack or like an. I like infantry organization and more speed or static defense, which gives you more heart attack, which really doesn't matter in my opinion very much. And then you get more, quite a bit more organization, but you lose speed and a little more reinforce rate. I think organization is key to everything. You lose a little bit of speed, um, which we did get plus five there, so we lose five. It doesn't really matter. I like more soft attack though, and you get more organization and more speed. Soft attack and speed. Ah, let's do Rifleman Primacy. Ah, screw it. We're going to make sure that we move quick in our wars, right? We won't totally get bogged down anywhere. Yeah, totally. Suffragette demonstrations. Uh, let's see, American president in particular, perhaps, of the suggestion of his wife, signs voting rights into law. Uh, well, we'll see how, what that does. Oh, we got a lot of equipment good, and we need more field guns and support equipment. Oh, that's kind of surprising. So let's go ahead and make uh, another run of these. Uh, we'll save Estra for more naval dockyards. 1913, 1914 stuff, 1914 stuff. Ooh, better armored car. Airship bombing training or bomber training. Good. Land auction, of course, we just started. Oh, support mission efficiency. Good. So hopefully, how many divisions does Serbia have? They have up to 18. And how many divisions do I have? I have 23 on my border with them. We might be able to win if we attack there. If the Russians attack, well... I'm going to need a lot of divisions to hold out against them. America chooses new freedom. And Woodrow Wilson ran on the platform of new freedom. Uh, denounced Wilson perceived as both Theodore Roosevelt's more paternalistic and collectivist new nationalism, as well as William Howard Taft's conservatism. Suburban Democrat. Well, hello... Woodrow Wilson. Wow, America, you are divided all to hell. 25, 25, 25, just 20. Wait, KKK is fascist? Since when is a KKK fascist? Uh, I know people. I don't really like the KKK, but fascism wasn't really f created until the we end of World War One with Mussolini. So I'm not exactly sure how you can be fascist before fascism was really discovered. Um. Then again, I guess I don't know my history as well as I would like. But something tells me that's a little, uh, oopsie there. Germany, what are you up to? Doctrine effort, as well as infrastructure effort. Oh, they have Mongolia as a public state. Cool. Republic of China. Please don't go to war with me later. Uh, Empire of Japan, war traditions. Cool, very cool. Oh, now we just need more support equipment. We need a ton of support equipment. Good. I just keep building all that stuff up. We're going to need every single thing here. Oh, we got a lot of ships. Nice. We've got 32 destroyers. Awesome. Very awesome. we got a lot of outdated destroyers, though. 
Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll finish up this next destroyer, and then we're going to switch over to uh, another dreadnought. Let's keep an eye on that. Good. It's getting closer. And it's there. Good. Let's go ahead and change it over to a dreadnought. Another one of these things. Screens. We have a lot of screens. Capital ships, though. Those are my weakness. Alright. We're making nothing but military factories now. And trenches. Germany, what is your factory level? Reinforce Sudwest... Sud... Reinforce Deutsch Sudwest Africa. 71 military factories. Holy crap. I feel very underpowered, but 74 civilians? Uh, they have less. How much do I have? 36 and 62 and 8. You guys have 39, so that's about the same as me. And I have more civilian factories, and we have more than the UK, so that's good to know. So you are immediately going to go here. I'm going to send some soldiers this way as well to Italy, if Italy decides to get a little antsy. And actually... Shoot drop stations. I'm going to add one more. I'm going to train you. I'm going to make three at a time. You're going to be on low priority. And, you know, keep on medium priority because I'm going to need people to defend my coast. And then now you are going to come here. I really don't care where these guys come from, but I just want to make sure that my line will be fully supported and ready to fight when the war gets going. Ooh, mass production at... On Q Avenue, Henry Ford's ambitious desire to make an automobile affordable for any consumer. Good. Good. That sounds good for the people, for the American people. Uh, yeah, you just go there. Alright then. And we've got another one. Let's see. Two. Yeah, you go up there. The Russian line is... looks kind of formidable. And then... Good. That'll be good. Fortify Russian border. Awesome. Well, airports near the Russian border. Military harmonization. It's a Russian anti an anti-Russian policy. I don't think there's going to be any more wars until the actual Great War sparks, which will probably happen in the next video. So, with that in mind, let's get these soldiers uh, positioned correctly for now, and then we'll end the episode there. Actually, what do we have to 24 divisions here? You could probably all train so you make yourselves not so uh, green. Because I need you to fight as humanly best as possible. Hopefully when the war does go off, Germany will be able to swoop in and take out a bunch of Russian territory. And I can kind of just kind of help, help them a little bit. Help support them a little bit. That's really my goal there. Uh, let's see. Are you guys done yet? Oh, you guys are actually pretty quick on this. Of course, again, time's going by very quickly in this one. Alright, so... Better armored cars, still 1913. Uh, I'm not really sure what to research anymore. We do siege artillery, but we're not really going to ever use that, so there will be no point to do that. Uh, well, I guess submarine attack. So, we're going to end it here. We just saw the dismantlement of a large portion of uh, Turkish or Ottoman territory. We've also looked at the enemies, or potential enemies, factories. It's not looking good for us. Well, the Italians are weaker than us, but the Russians are stronger than us, but the Germans are stronger than us, which will be our allies. The French by themselves will be weaker, as well as the English. Well, let's take a look at the Americans. That's a lot of factors. Either way, there's still, some of them are still fascists, and I will see you tomorrow. Please like the video if you like to subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you tomorrow, like I just said. Wow, I said it so many times. Thank you very much for watching.